there are secrets around the universe, from the solar system's backyard to the cosmic ocean's far borders. That's just how things have been from the beginning. For centuries, astronomers have puzzled over the chemical composition of stars and the mysterious origins of comets. Many previous mysteries have been resolved, but new ones have emerged as larger telescopes and more sensitive sensors probe further into space. After watching this summary of the nine most puzzling enigmas of the cosmos, one thing will become abundantly clear. The universe itself is the greatest mystery. The fourth case will especially surprise you the most. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment concerning the 10 mysteries of the universe. Flying Mystery in Space A mysterious cosmic object crashed into the solar system in 2018. The so-called Oumuamua seemed to be a long, skinny object rolling end over end as it moved through the sky. Then, through monitoring, showed that it had started speeding up as if prodded by an external force. Researchers have not yet identified the reason. A new study in astronomy and astrophysics suggests that Oumuamua is a light sail, even if it's not human-made. Even if one accepts the premise that the object is being driven by photonic radiation, the authors set out to show that it is implausible that an alien civilization would have launched it. The scientists note that Oumuamua's trajectory displays indications of non-gravitational acceleration, and they argue that photon radiation pressure may be to blame. The paper's lead author, New Zealand astronomer Stephen Curran bases his calculations on the idea that Oumuamua is a light sail. As such, the maximum speed is 610 meters per second. According to Curran's estimates, Oumuamua's approximate 40-ton mass makes it ineffective as a light sail for interstellar flight. He further claims that the spacecraft's calculated speeds are much lower than any human-made spacecraft. Curran uses the Breakthrough Starshot effort to illustrate using a laser to power a light sail to achieve the speed of light. But Curran argues that even a Starshot project needs a million times stronger laser. He adds that the sail must have perfect reflectivity for the laser to miss it. No such material currently exists. Furthermore, the reported reflectivity of Oumuamua is far from ideal. Curran defined Oumuamua as a strange-shaped rock that fell into the solar system, supported by the sun's gravity. Calculations indicate that it came from the Lyra constellation, but its origin is uncertain. One thing, though, is unquestionable in Curran's mind. Oumuamua's estimated mass prevents it from being accelerated by light alone. He calculated that a light sail would take 2 million years to travel 4 light years. Scientists determined that from Oumuamua's trajectory, that its likely origin was 200 light years away, meaning a half a billion year transit to the solar system. Based on its observed speed, Oumuamua would take 50,000 years to reach Proxima Centauri and 400,000 years to travel 30 light years, including the nearest 357 hydrogen burning stars. So a solar sail probe would be unpopular and unsupported even by a highly advanced civilization there probably won't be anyone left to receive the probe's data from the same generation that sent it into space. In other research, Oumuamua's irregular acceleration was likely caused by a natural occurrence, according to most researchers. A group of experts hypothesized that solid hydrogen bursting off the object's surface generated its acceleration. In an article for the Astrophysical Journal Letters Loeb and Thiem Huang, an astrophysicist at the Korea Astronomy and Space Science Institute, argue that the hydrogen hypothesis is unlikely to hold up in practice. This would suggest that technologically advanced aliens have visited this part of the galaxy and that humanity has witnessed their presence before. The issue of Oumuamua, according to the astronomer and solid hydrogen theory co-author Daryl Seligman, said the object behaved like a comet but had no comma or tail. The first object to enter and leave the solar system was Oumuamua. It left the solar system unlike most entities that orbit the sun. Oumuamua's trajectory and acceleration suggested it was a comet with no comma or outgassing. Seligman claims that comets typically originate from a greater distance from the sun, unlike asteroids. 
The ice on their surfaces instantly turns into gas as they approach the Sun, leaving behind a beautiful comet trail. When the Sun hits the comet, its hottest section bursts with gas, propelling it away from the Sun like a sluggish rocket engine. In the Astrophysical Journal Letters, Seligman and Yale astronomer Gregory Laughlin suggested that the object was a molecular hydrogen H2 comet, since it is exceedingly light. H2 gas freezes as a fluffy low-density solid only at low temperatures in Earth's atmosphere. Laughlin and Seligman highlighted those prior studies and revealed the existence of hydrogen icebergs in space. Hydrogen outgassing would be invisible from Earth. Therefore, the comet would have no trail. The estimates were accurate, and hydrogen was the closest match for a coma-free acceleration. Huang and Loeb believed that the solid hydrogen ice cubes in the coldest regions of space would need starlight to form into a comet like Oumuamua the nearest big molecule cloud, a dusty gaseous area where hydrogen icebergs may form, is too far away. The hydrogen iceberg would have melted under the tremendous star heat from hundreds of millions of years in interstellar space. Seligman believed Loeb was right that no hydrogen comet could survive such a long voyage. He says hydrogen icebergs don't last in space, and you won't have enough time to get from the nearest enormous molecule cloud. Seligman adds that the idea works if Oumuamua is under 40 million years old. The comet's oblong shape might have been fashioned by outgassing without killing it during that period. The authors admit they couldn't identify the comet's home. Oumuamua's slow entry into the solar system makes it hard to track. Yet, researchers have wondered what other cosmic objects have passed through the same region of the Milky Way as the Sun. The paper's principal author, McGill University PhD student Tim Hollett uncovered two young star groups, the Carina and Columba moving groups. 30 to 45 million years ago, a cloud of gas condensed into galaxies and scattered. Hollett speculated that the existence of a tiny number of newborn stars in that small diffused cloud of molecular gas could lead to the formation of hydrogen icebergs. All these writers believe Oumuamua is a hydrogen iceberg from Carina or Columba, which makes sense. The Mystery of Fermi Bubbles Fermi bubbles are huge gamma-ray formations that can be found both above and below the galactic center. They're linked to the galactic core microwave haze seen in WMAP data and verified in Planck statistics. They are enormous, unexplained formations that stretch around 20,000 light-years. The odd phenomena, identified for the first time in 2010, consists of extremely high-energy gamma-ray and X-ray emissions. Researchers have speculated that the gamma rays originate from shock waves created when stars fall into the galaxy's central black hole. A Rectangular Galaxy About 70 million light-years away, astronomers discovered an object with a truly unprecedented look in the observable universe, LIDA 047-886. It is a galaxy that has a roughly rectangular shape, while most galaxies are disks, three-dimensional ellipses, or erratic blobs, this one appears to be roughly rectangular galaxy or diamond-shaped. Some have hypothesized that the shape is the consequence of the collision of two spiral galaxies. However, this is only a theory. Magnetic Field of the Moon Astronomers have been perplexed for decades by one of the Moon's greatest mysteries, why only certain crust portions appear to contain a magnetic field. This mystery even inspired the buried legendary monolith that appeared in the novel and film adaptation of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yet a few researchers believe they may have found a solution. Scientists believe the magnetism is left over from a collision between a large asteroid approximately 120 miles wide and the Moon's South Pole some 4.5 billion years ago. As determined by a computer model of the Earth's crust, while some attribute the magnetic field of the Moon to older, larger events, others think it could be due to something more recent and smaller. Why Pulsars Pulse A pulsar is a distant, quickly spinning neutron star that periodically emits electromagnetic radiation, much like a lighthouse's beam that sweeps across the beach as it rotates. Although the first pulsar was identified in 1967, researchers have spent decades figuring out what makes these stars pulse and why some pulsars occasionally stop pulsating altogether. Nevertheless, 
In 2008, scientists observed a pulsar that went dark for 580 days and concluded the on and off intervals were due to magnetic currents decreasing the star's spin. To this day, astronomers toil away at the puzzle of what causes these magnetic currents to fluctuate in the first place. Dark Matter Mystery Astrophysicists are presently trying to monitor the impacts of dark energy, which is responsible for about 70% of the universe. Yet, it is not only the form of dark matter in the universe. Dark matter accounts for about 25% of the total mass of the cosmos. No visible light nor any type of infrared energy can be admitted or absorbed by it, rendering it invisible to telescopes and humans alike. Yet its gravitational influence may be seen in the orbits of galaxies and particular stars. Studying dark matter has been challenging for scientists. Still, they hypothesize that it comprises particles significantly different from those that compose the stuff humans can see. Galactic Recycling The rate at which galaxies produce new stars has recently been much higher than the rate at which they can replenish their internal supply of matter. For example, the Milky Way appears to convert around the mass of a sun per year in dust and gas into new stars, but the galaxy lacks the requisite amount of spare matter to maintain this rate permanently. Perhaps a recent analysis of faraway galaxies will reveal the answer. According to astronomers, the gas galaxies that had been previously ejected were now returning to the nuclei. If galaxies recycle this gas to create new stars, this could provide a clue to the whereabouts of the lost raw matter. What happened to all the lithium? According to Big Bang theories, lithium should be widely distributed throughout the universe. In this particular instance, the solution to the enigma is fairly simple. It doesn't. Lithium is found in concentrations two to three times less than suggested by theoretical models in studies of early stars generated from material most comparable to that produced by the Big Bang. Theorists speculate that the hypothetical subatomic particles called axions may have absorbed protons and lowered the amount of lithium formed in the period right after the Big Bang. However, research suggests that some lithium may be blended from a telescope view into the center of stars. What is the ultimate fate of the universe? The Big Bang theory is a prevalent theory of how the universe began. If so, how will the universe end? Theorists conclude that the universe's ultimate fate is based on various criteria. The Great Crunch, a reversal of the Big Bang would occur if dark energy wasn't enough to counteract the compressive gravity force. However, current research suggests that the great chill in which dark energy forces and the cosmos into a long, steady expansion is more likely than the Big Crunch, leaving behind only ashes of stars and icy planets. Without sufficient dark energy to overcome all other forces, the universe's galaxies, stars, and even atoms could be torn apart in a great rip scenario. The Multiverse Mystery According to theoretical physicists' speculations on the multiverse, there may be more universes like ours. The concept is that this universe is encased in a bubble, and other galaxies are encased in their bubbles. The physical principles and the physics laws Astronomers are searching for physical proof that supports the notion. Despite its science fiction-like appearance, possible evidence of cosmic collisions represented by disc-shaped forms in the Big Bang's residual emission. Let us know what you think of the above data on interstellar travel and the mysteries of the universe. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to leave a comment, like, or follow us on social media. Goodbye.